Are statins really saving lives, or are they doing more harm than good? In this video, we uncover the dark side of cholesterol-lowering drugs and what your doctor might not be telling you. Statins are used by millions of people worldwide, with prescriptions growing every year. In the United States alone, it's estimated that over 35 million people take statins, primarily to lower their LDL, bad, cholesterol and reduce the risk of heart attacks and strokes. A study published in The Lancet, 2016, found that statins reduced the risk of major cardiovascular events by 25-30% in high-risk individuals. Additionally, for every 1 millimole per liter reduction in LDL cholesterol, the risk of heart attacks drops by about 20%. This has led to widespread endorsement of statins by health authorities worldwide. However, despite these figures, some researchers and medical professionals argue that statins are overprescribed and that the benefits may be overstated for those without existing heart disease or those at lower risk. Let's dig deeper into the facts. Statins work by blocking an enzyme in the liver responsible for producing cholesterol, effectively lowering LDL cholesterol levels. This can significantly reduce the risk of heart attacks, strokes, and even death in people with cardiovascular disease or those at high risk. Here are the primary benefits. Reduced cardiovascular events. Statins have been shown to lower the risk of heart attacks and strokes in both high-risk patients and those with existing cardiovascular disease. Anti-inflammatory effects. Beyond cholesterol lowering, statins also have anti-inflammatory properties, which may provide added protection to the heart. Preventing mortality. For high-risk individuals, statins can reduce the risk of death from heart-related issues by 15-30%, depending on the severity of their condition. This makes statins a key part of heart disease management, especially for patients with a history of heart attacks or high cholesterol levels. But with all the praise for statins, there's growing concern about their side effects and the possibility that they're being overprescribed. Here are some of the documented adverse effects. Muscle pain and weakness. One of the most common complaints from statin users is muscle pain, known as myalgia, affecting up to 29% of users. In severe cases, it can lead to rhabdomyolysis, a serious condition where muscle tissue breaks down and leads to kidney damage. Cognitive effects. Some patients report memory loss and confusion while on statins, although this is still debated. The FDA added a warning about potential cognitive effects, but more research is needed. Increased risk of diabetes. Perhaps the most concerning side effect is the increased risk of developing type 2 diabetes. Studies show that statins may increase the risk of diabetes by 9-12%, particularly in people already predisposed to the disease. Liver damage. Though rare, statins can cause liver damage in some individuals, which is why regular blood tests are recommended to monitor liver function. A large meta-analysis published in the BMJ questioned the widespread use of statins in individuals without a history of heart disease. The analysis suggested that the benefits of statins in low-risk individuals were minimal and often didn't outweigh the potential side effects. This has led to concerns that statins are being prescribed to millions of people who may not actually need them. So. Are statins a miracle drug, or are they overprescribed and potentially dangerous? The truth lies somewhere in between. For those at high risk of cardiovascular disease or those who've already had heart attacks, statins are life-saving and their benefits far outweigh the risks. However, for individuals at low risk, the decision to start statins should be made carefully, weighing the benefits and potential side effects. If you're currently taking statins or considering them, it's important to have an open discussion with your doctor. Make sure you're aware of the risks and benefits based on your personal health profile. And as always, lifestyle changes, such as diet and exercise, should be part of your strategy to manage cholesterol and protect your heart. Thank you for watching, and if you found this video insightful, don't forget to subscribe to The Diabetes Professor for more content on diabetes, heart health, and beyond. Drop your thoughts in the comments below. What's your take on statins?